we'll see later on tonight. Quite a story and quite an opportunity for Emma Gongora. Let's send it down to our ring announcer for the official introductions. rounds. See Estelle Mosley in the black trimmed in silver. Emma Gongora in the black and trimmed with white. Mosley originally had a different opponent who contracted the COVID-19 virus. Gongora received the call and said yes immediately. It was hopping on a train moments later. And Mosley has been very upfront about the fact she doesn't want to step her competition up too far as she embarks on this comeback, so to speak. But she does want to get one more fight in before the end of 2020. A couple of moments ago, we did see a good right hand from Emma Gongora. Right hand comes in over the top from Estelle Mosley. Mosley said that uh, she's not worried about her husband Tony's fight later on, but she did say, I think he's worried about mine. So he's a little more worried than I am. A trio of right hands coming over the top from Mosley. Last one catching the shoulder of Gongora. Not a terrible start for Gongora here. You have to give this opening round to Mosley, but an encouraging start considering the vast difference in experience here. Round two underway, and some very direct advice in the corner of Estelle Mosley. Follow up those right hands with jabs to the body. We've seen the, the habit of Gongora to pull back with her chin in the air when these shots are coming, particularly the right hand. Gongora definitely very game. And within the French boxing community, it's actually not uncommon to see fighters kind of oscillate between kickboxing and boxing. In France, Savat, which is a form of kickboxing, is very popular, so... Not uncommon to see fighters, as we see a cut open up over the left eye of Gongora, not uncommon to see fighters switch between box Francaise and box Anglaise. Sure. 
Body work at the corner of Mosley was asking for. Right hand downstairs. Good left hook connects, and that cut or the eye of Gongora is worsening. The corner is going to have some work to do. Mostly now applying pressure. Now 10 seconds of the second round, and the story now will be the cut and what Gongora's corner can do about it. Round three underway, and as if Emma Gongora didn't have enough to deal with, facing one of the most talented women's fighters in the world in just her second pro fight in a relatively new sport for her, now she's got blood streaming down her face. Left hook there. Good check hook from Mosley. He turns Gongora, connects with another one. And you know, the story for Estelle is very similar to the tale of her husband in that both of them won gold in 2016. So of their crop, they were presumed to be the best of the bunch. In Mosley's case, she has amateur wins over Katie Taylor, over Michaela Mayer, over Chantel Cameron. And so took some time off from the sport while those other women advanced as professionals. They quickly turned pro, gained some fanfare and some attention. And now Mosley kind of trying to play catch up. But as we mentioned, still ranked number three by the Ring Magazine at lightweight. Just behind Cameron, Delphine Person, and of course the champion, Katie Taylor. You have to think that those women can stick around at 135. There could be some scintillating matchups in store, potentially, for 2021. Gora trying to hustle on the inside, land some body shots. Big right hand connects from Mosley as we enter the final 10 seconds of this round. Round four begins. Shoot, 
And for what it's worth, we should mention as well that last minute the French lightweight champion, the French Women's Lightweight Championship, was put on the line for this bout. Just another trinket for someone like Estelle Mosley, but if you're a good learning experience for her tonight, regardless of the outcome. Mosley, as we mentioned, cruised to an eight-round decision over Orali Fromont in September, September 25th. She and Tony Yoka share most of the same camp. They train together quite frequently. You might have seen some of the social media posts of the couple and their children out training in the park doing sit ups. It's a family affair at all times, but particularly here tonight. Dungora still very game, still throwing a lot of punches. There's, you know, obviously a difference in, in technique and skill, but for someone coming in on three days' notice with a, a lack of experience in boxing altogether, you have to be impressed with the heart and the hustle of Dungora. Very candid advice in the corner of Estel Mosley, effectively telling her, don't just take this round off, but focus on your jab. If you are feel, feeling a little bit tired, just focus on placing your punches. Those two minute rounds in women's boxing, there isn't really a whole lot of space to take time off. You can see Mosley just controlling the distance a little bit more here, almost taking a half step back. And at this range, she really can control. There's no need to rush things if you don't think you can get her out of here. that mostly took off during her second pregnancy, but it wasn't really time off. She said that she trained all the way up to seven months into that pregnancy and has actually now started an association within France to help high-level athletes who do want to give birth to keep them in training during their pregnancies as well. Really stepping up for women's athletes in the country of France. A little scoop uppercut there from Mosley. Gora just continues to make it rough when she gets the opportunity, but... Round six underway, and the advice in the corner of Estelle Yoko Mosley. Just keep it simple. She mentioned that she does want to get another fight in next month. 
So that would mean getting out of this fight unscathed. Not getting cut. Not wearing yourself out. While still maintaining her pro career. So in addition to some of those matchups we talked about. Taylor and Mayer and Cameron. Persone. Could potentially get another Olympic run as well. A little body shot there from Emma Gongora. At close range, when Gongora moves her hands, she is more than keeping Mosley honest. She has caught her with some good shots. And you'd have to think that even if she doesn't win this fight, and you'd have to think she's well down on the scorecards right now. She'll definitely get some calls to be an opponent for other lightweights around the world. And could perhaps make a run at a French title or a run at the European level. Very admirable performance from the late replacement here. Take a look back at some of the action and very good sequences from Emma Gondora in that round. There's another right hand coming over the top. And I wouldn't say that I would sense frustration in the corner of Mosley, but I think there is there's a certain tenor in the corner right now where perhaps Mosley expected to just wipe out Gongora, but is experiencing some difficult sequences here and there. And her corner is telling her not to worry about it. Just win these rounds. You are winning these rounds. And just don't make mistakes. And the operative at the end of round six there was just don't reach with your right hand. Don't throw the overhand right and fall in. It's in those kind of messy little exchanges where Gongora can score and again if Mosley does want to sneak in another fight before year's end, she definitely doesn't want to get caught or any kind of suspension that would come with that. Good right hand connects there from Mosley. A little more movement on the outside from the gold medalist. Double jab from Mosley. Trying to walk Angora into a right hand here. Final 15 seconds of round seven. Just one to go here in our opener. A much cleaner round here for Estelle Mosley. Fin de la début de la huitième et dernière reprise. The eighth and final round. The second fight in just over as someone with just one professional fight to step in against someone of this caliber. She's handled herself quite well. Gongora is was 30 and 3 as an amateur kickboxer and we mentioned has won titles at the European and world levels as a kickboxer. 
Gora said competition is not a comparison between you and others, but a permanent challenge between the person you were and the one you want to become. So a very martial artist-esque approach for Gongora, where she's not necessarily worried about losing here tonight, but about what she could potentially learn and take away from that. So very commendable approach from Emma here tonight. And for Mosley, this has just been about getting back up to speed. Shaking off some of that ring rust, getting used to being back down at 135 pounds again, making weight. Going through a full training camp now for the second time. And final 10 seconds, she'll just hold on here. And we would assume improve 2 8 0. No. She puts an exclamation mark on this one with a left hook right before the bell. Pour M. Derval, 78, 74 pour M. Dubois, 77, 75 pour M. Zidane, 78, 74. Tous les trois en faveur de celle qui est toujours abattue, Estelle Yaka Moissy.